I'm going to be trying the world's worst diet over the next 24 hours. The world wants food faster, cheaper and more convenient than ever before but ultimately this is coming at a cost for example the predicted obesity rate in the us is going to be 50 percent by 2030 that is absolutely staggering today i'm going to be trying the type of diet that we usually recommend people stay away from i'm going to see how i feel how it affects my performance my energy levels and my day-to-day -day. let's get into things and we're going to be going here later on today so according to sf gate which is reputable resource we've got the world's worst breakfast here which is a breakfast cereal which is pretty high in sugar and we've got one of these sort of kind of chilled coffees now these are absolute killers if you're getting hidden calories in during the day this alone is 300 calories like this in my bowl of cereal is probably going to be close to a thousand calories in the morning and this 210 calories per cup which is like 50 grams which is like one serving maybe maybe just under that i'm probably going to have one and a half servings for an average size bowl so by the time you have that plus the milk plus the coffee you're looking at like 700 calories for breakfast here i have about 80 grams of cereal which is like one and a half cups now that's like one and a half serving sizes on the box but this is a pretty standard bowl of cereal now this is going to set me back alone without the milk over 315 calories just from this. You add the milk, you're up at 400, and I'm having my coffee here, my frappuccino, and that's me up at 700 alone. So most people think a healthy breakfast comes from cereal. I mean, you would think oat crunch sounds not too bad. Ultimately, this is a very high calorie, very high sugar breakfast that's going to put your calories well up during that first part of the day. Cereal is done drink is half done that was basically a bowl of sugar this is basically a drink of sugar you can't even taste the fucking coffee in this i don't know who actually likes these things anyone who's starting the day with this like it's just like a milkshake honestly that is what it tastes like but if you total up the sugar from this one single meal is over 55 60 grams that's crazy, and 700 calories. And it's not even gonna keep me satiated for that long, that's the problem. I eat a breakfast at home that's about 300 calories, high in protein, high in fiber, and it keeps me satiated for hours, and the macros are much better. But, hey ho, this is the world's worst diet, not the world's best. So we are just about to go in and train some legs. It's like two hours after the breakfast, and funnily enough, I'm actually quite hungry. I had a 700 calorie breakfast and two hours later, I could definitely eat. That just shows you that again, eating foods that are highly processed, high in sugar, aren't necessarily gonna keep you full and they're gonna encourage you to overeat moving forward. But I'm going to again, probably perform at my best because I'm absolutely full of carbs and have a great workout. Lunch meal is going to be one of the most popular orders in the Western world, which is a burger and fries. Now I'm here at personally one of my favorite spots, which is Five Guys. Now this is the bacon cheeseburger which is the biggest burger they have and that alone comes in at around a thousand calories i have a small fries here which is about 600 and a drink as well which is about 300 so all in all this meal is going to have about 2000 calories in it pair this with the breakfast i'm at almost 3000 calories for the day so far and i'm pretty hungry just now like the breakfast wasn't filling so i'm going to get into this finish it off and see how i feel afterwards So the final meal of the evening is going to be a pizza. A lovely cheese pizza just for me. Which is the number one takeaway in the UK and is one of the most calorie dense foods that is. You literally do not get a low calorie pizza. It's ultimately one of the unhealthiest foods in the face of the planet just because of the sheer amount of calories, fat and sodium in it. So we're finishing off the day with some garlic knots and some pizza here at a place we come to quite regularly in Orlando. But I'm already feeling pretty full from the lunch this afternoon. That was like three, four hours ago. Still feeling pretty bloated and full and low in energy. So we'll see how, the, how much of an impact this meal has and take it from there so the final meal as i said is a pizza now the average domino's cheese pizza has like 1200 calories so this is probably going to have closer to 15. you pair that with my 2000 calorie lunch and my 700 calorie breakfast well over 4000 calories a day so it's really easy to see why the diet a diet like this can cause you to overeat which ultimately is the world's worst diet So 
so we are finished up the meal for the evening. Pizza is down and I feel like shit. I am so bloated after that meal. We had pizza and garlic knots. And again, our total was well over 5,000 calories for the day so far. So how do I feel? I feel tired. I feel lethargic. I feel bloated. I do not feel great. I'm going to step in the scale later on tonight. But we do have one more little treat to finish off the evening. So we're going to see what that is in just a few minutes but overall I feel like shit don't feel great and ultimately this is definitely not a diet I would like to sustain long term we are finishing things off at the cinema so this is the last meal of the night one large salt popcorn and we're good to go about 6,000 calories for the day but this is the final meal so we're weighing in at the end of the night. Now typically you will be a couple of you know pounds or maybe even kilograms heavier depending on how much you've eaten in a day regardless. But I'm going to step in the scale and see what sort of impact the day's eating has had. I am in a leaning out phase at the moment and I'm certainly feeling a bit more bloated than I was this morning. <laughs> My abs are certainly not as defined as they were. Um, you can see a little bit of bloating around the waist there but... Um, yeah, feeling very sluggish, feeling pretty fat <laughs> um, and pretty low in energy as well. If I was to try and do a workout just now, for example, I would feel absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, so feeling quite disgusting. In summary, the world's worst diet made me feel worse, I was bloated, I felt sick, and I gained over three kilograms in weight, which is seven pounds. That's half a stone. I would much rather eat a healthy diet for the majority of the time and fit in things like this periodically and stay on track. Off to the side is going to be my previous challenge, which is I tried the Wim Hof Method for 14 days. Give it a watch.